Lee, as a UK investor, you get asked about Brexit quite a lot. What is your view? Yeah, Brexit's a very significant issue and it's something that's likely to persist for some time. But there's many issues that have done that in the past, whether it be back to the, the TMT burst in the early part of this century, the global financial crisis that we've been through. So it's yet another issue and there's many pressing issues of a similar nature that really throw up significant opportunities that we can invest into if we remain calm and invest on a sensible basis. So how are you managing that landscape? I think we're, we're taking a number of steps, looking at where the immediate impact is felt, typically through currency, but also looking for opportunities through mispriced, perhaps overreactions in particular share prices or sectors. You mentioned the currency and the most obvious impact of Brexit has been a weaker pound. Any thoughts? Yeah, the pound was the, the area that, that really reacted the most to last summer's vote. And I think it's really where we have to put the most emphasis in terms of looking as to how we insulate the portfolio or how we structure the portfolios as well. And I think we can uh, do that in a number of ways. One, we can look for a steady stream of overseas earnings in the portfolio, remembering that the UK market is a very different beast to the economy, where there's lots of uh, very significant overseas earners in the market. And then we can look for mispriced opportunities, perhaps shares that overreact as a consequence of the movement in currency. And then looking to make sure that we don't really get caught out if there's a, a very negative political discussion or debate. Now the currency has also seen inflation return to the picture. How are you positioning the portfolio going into next year? Yeah, that's, that's something that's really causing a big change in the structure of the portfolios. The, the lack of inflation has really been the, the key element of investing over the last 10 years at least, if not more, that's dragged down bond yields and corporate bond yields, hence the clamour for income investment, and hence why markets have re-rated in the so-called bond proxies. Now, if we have some inflation back in the system, that potentially changes, so potentially a big change of leadership in markets. And so we need to be really at the forefront of that. How are people's expectations of inflation changing? Where their spending patterns are likely to change? And can we invest into that? So looking at things like financial stocks, niche players, those companies that do very well with short cash cycles, and really looking to change the underlying structure, so perhaps introducing more debt into the portfolios, the sorts of stocks that we look at. <laughs>